Today's first smart topic, transferring your investments when you lose or leave a job. If you Google lost jobs, you will find the majority of what people are discussing and blogging about today is what to do with their investments when they leave a company. So today, we ask the expert. Let's talk about your investments for a moment. What happens to your 401k when you leave or transfer jobs? Does it stay with the old employer? Does it transfer to the new one? In this up and down job market, these questions are being asked an awful lot by people who are in the middle of a transition. And joining us now with the answers is Patsy Nodillo. She's the CEO of Pathlight Investors here in the Valley. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Kent Connie. So um, what does happen to your 401k? Does it just stay where it is? You know, your employer should provide you with uh, information about, about your 401k, and you'll have various options that you can make. Uh, some plans allow you to stay in the, in the 401k for a period of time at least. Mm -hmm. um, others, it, it may be just a very short period of time. But we're, I'm a big fan of having control over your own investments. Right. And so I think the real uh, good thing to do is to get an, an IRA rollover and to roll those funds over into your own investment account that you can control. So as you're leaving, there's some serious conversations you need to have with the finance people at your former job about a list of things. Well, your 401k is one of them. Yes, yes. And, you know, otherwise, too, if someone's leaving a job, it, it's easy to forget some of the things. But make sure you get a letter of recommendation for your, from your employee. You're going to need that when sure. you're looking for another job. Um, it, that, I think that's very important. And then don't forget that you may be losing your health care if it's employer-sponsored. And make sure you get the information from your employer about COBRA or getting health insurance. Yeah, really important. So don't forget that. And then there are other um, investments that you've probably made with the company as well that you need to kind of look at. Yes, if you have stock options or uh, you've had an employee stock purchase plan, mm -hmm. you, you need to know uh, the ins and outs of that and what your options are and if, how long you may uh, keep things there if that's what you want to do or if they, assets can be rolled out of that plan into a, uh, an investment account that you would have uh, with an investment advisor. So about five or six real important things from yes. health care to your 401k, deferred, to, uh, deferred stock, um, your stock options, your deferred comp, things that you really need to kind of nail down and plan for the future as you absolutely. leave. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What happens, you know, this is just the typical situation is, you know, you lose your job, which a lot of people have, nearly mm -hmm. 9 million people since all this has happened. Um, your life is in chaos and you're really not thinking of all of those things. When you kind of come up from air, for, for air, what happens if you haven't transferred some of that? Is it okay? Do you, do you have a timeline on any of it? Yeah, usually there's not an immediate timeline, uh, but, but again, I think the sooner you take control of that, the you know, you can be focused on that at the beginning. You're not distracted with another job, with other things in your life. So yeah. I would recommend that you take care of that right away as soon as you can. And Patsy, do you say, you know, transfer, you said transfer it to an IRA so that it's really in your own control, probably not just transfer it to the next company, right? Yeah, it really depends on the, the pension plan of the company that you go to. There are some plans that allow assets to be rolled directly from one 401k into theirs, but it's getting rarer and rarer. Okay. Okay. Uh, so um, it's it's sometimes hard to do. And then when people are, are exiting and they've got the 401k information and the you know the person in front of them is saying, where do you want this to go? Mm -hmm. You never want to say, hey, well, just write me a check for it. That's right. You want to make sure that you are having a it, you were doing a direct rollover so that it is not a taxable event. Otherwise, you could be stuck with a tax bill for a huge amount of money. Yeah. You know, taking something out early, and you don't want that. But if the if a check is made payable to the custodian of your IRA account, that uh, counts as a direct rollover, and so it would not be subject to tax. And if it's ever too overwhelming, just maybe get an, get someone that a financial planner that can help you with exactly. It. And if yeah. you've got uh, uh, if you've got a substantial amount of money, and often it is most of your savings, yeah. you want to get some good advice. All right, Patsy, thanks so much for being with us. We You're appreciate welcome. it. Patsy Nodillo is with Pathlight Investors here in the Valley.